Today, lads, I'm gonna teach you some very valuable life lessons. Hey guys! So with my most anticipated movie of 2016, Captain America Civil War coming out on May 6th, I figured I gotta prepare myself mentally, physically, and emotionally for its arrival. So from all the previous content on my channel, you know for a fact that I take filmmaking, superheroes, and all this stuff very seriously. So the question is, when you enjoy something this much and you really want to prepare yourselves for it, how do you do it? So that is why I bring to you, the people, Marco Pereira's guide on how to prepare for a movie. Now the first step in order to prepare oneself for this new upcoming film is to prepare themselves Mentally. No matter what you're doing in life, no matter what you see with your eyes, you have to always be able to tie it back into the movie you're preparing yourself for. In terms of my preparation for Civil War, every time I look at the Lego figures behind me, I always imagine them fighting and going up against each other. I don't want to have to fight you, I already lost my brother. Yeah, but the Quicksilver and Ace of Future Pass was a lot better. What did you say? Ah! And just as you're about to fall asleep on your nice warm blanket, ponder the movie, ponder all the possibilities of where the characters could go. Live your life in every single aspect that you do in preparation for this movie. I mean, just look at this video right now. I'm preparing myself already. The next step is to prepare yourselves physically. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, here's an example for it. A few days ago, I went to Toronto with my lady friend, and when our adventure finally tuckered us out, we decided to refuel our bodies with some good old-fashioned grub. Now, whilst deciding what to order, I pondered what would Tony do? So, of course, I ordered a nice big old plate of chicken shawarma. You see what I did? I physically became an Avenger. Although I technically missed out on the saving New York bit and then just ate shawarma afterwards, but you get the point. You also need to physically learn how to become the characters. The cast for Captain America Civil War is all fit, good-looking people. So in order to physically prepare myself, I obviously had to start working out more. And I find this is really the key to becoming one of these characters. Go for a nice good old-fashioned jog, do some reps for Jesus. <laughs> the way I see it, if you come out of your workout looking like Chris Evans, you're gonna feel like you're Captain America. And to put that in other words, you are simply winning. But the best bit is, is when you truly push yourself and when your power level goes over 9,000, you can actually find yourself becoming these characters. That's my secret cap. I'm always angry. In all honesty, I just want an excuse to wear my Hulk hands again. And the final step in my guide to achieve full-on preparation is to become emotionally prepared. All the previous steps really tie into this one, but to really put the icing on the cake, you have to go back and watch other movies of the franchise. If you want to know why Captain America's feeling the way he does, then go back and do your research. Watch the first Avenger, watch Winter Soldier. It's easy peasy stuff, guys, and that extra bit of work will pay off in the long run. Trust me. And along your journey of becoming emotionally ready for a film, you may find yourself emotionally unstable for certain scenarios. Certain scenarios where you wouldn't really usually be emotionally unstable. You'll find yourself crying in the shower when there's nothing to eat or drink. Or you'll even find yourself crying while you're filming a video. <laughs> So if you've been listening very carefully and following all my steps, you should be emotionally, physically, and mentally prepared for any movie you want to watch. Now if you don't get it at first, don't fret, don't worry, it takes time. Practice makes perfect. Now those are just a few of the ways that I prepare myself for movies. If you have different ways, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And until next time, I'm Marco Pereira. Ciao for now. 